Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to watch your FPS number go up and down almost as much as you like to actually play the games, is that you? Yes. You. I mean, come on, Jake. You know that's me. <laughs> you. We all know that's me. Um, a few weeks ago, we showed you guys how to overclock and undervolt your graphics card with GPU Tweak 3. But the fun does not stop there. Once you're done with the actual tweaking, GPU Tweak, you can then use GPU Tweak for monitoring your system stats while you game. Um, and there are a few different ways to do that and to kind of customize all of the different aspects of those monitoring interfaces. So we're going to show you all of the different ways you can do that today. Starting with the main GPU Tweak 3 window. Here it is. So um, you've got, these are your sliders. We use these to overclock and undervolt and all those things. And you've got these like speedometers up here that will also show you like your current temperature, clocks and things like that. You could just watch this. Like I have a second monitor and I like you could just drag this to your other monitor and watch that. But there is a lot of stuff here. Some of it's hidden behind these buttons. Oh, hey, look, I got some other stuff under there. So Neat. if you want to customize what you see and don't see, like if you scroll down, I've got this GPU temp target and frame rate target. I don't really use those. So what you would do is you uh, click on this little button here with the three knobs. Um, that allows you to customize the slider. So like, let's say I don't want to see these, uncheck them, hit save. And when we go back to the main window, they're gone. Um, you can do that with any of these panels, including up here. You can also customize like what of the speedometers you see. So if, and you can reorder them too. So uncheck this, reorder this up here. Boom, now I've got, something a bit more customized question so, in chat is does this work on the rg ally no okay no this is primarily designed for i mean I, there might be some stuff you could do on the ally with this i haven't personally tested it um i know that there are some people that try to do stuff with this on their laptops and whatnot this is really meant for desktop dedicated PCs, gpus yeah. um because that's where you have the temperature and power headroom to play with a lot of this stuff mm. Um, for monitoring, I bet a lot of that would work fine, but the Ally already has built-in monitoring um, through Armory Crate and through uh, the AMD software, so i probably recommend using that. This is really designed for desktop GPUs. There may be some stuff you can do here and there with other kinds of systems, but I I, for our demonstrations, I tend to stick to desktop GPU stuff. So that's cool. Um, most people, I expect would actually prefer something a bit more uh, detailed like this monitor view we have here. So if you click this button right here, you'll get this pop-out monitor view. Now, a lot of this stuff is stable right now, but you can see I do have a game running in the background here because I'm going to show it later. You can see my GPU usage is fluctuating a bit and you've got, uh, you can mouse over it to kind of see what it looks like over time. Pretty cool. And because I have a second monitor on my PC, I just dock this on the second monitor and watch my system stats that way. Mm -hmm. uh, just like the main window, this has a lot more stuff on it than the main window, but just like that, you can click this uh, little button with the knobs right here to customize what you see and don't see. So like, I don't really need to see my uh, voltage because I'm not overclocking. Um, I'm not super concerned about memory clock, temperatures I'll keep, you know, some of this other stuff, not so much. Um, and that way it's a little bit cleaner. I can reorder stuff again if I want to by clicking and dragging these over here, like this. Oh, these are fan speeds in percent. I don't need to see that because I already have RPM up there. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put GPU usage a little bit higher. I like to see that. And uh, hit save. Now let's see what it looks like. Boom. Again, you can minimize some of this stuff. So if you just want to see what like the maximum, like temperature, I don't super need to see that graph. I, I just need to see what the current and like what the max is. Um, GPU usage, I want to see that graph. So you, you can kind of like, tweak this to fit what you actually want to pay attention to. Now, what if you don't have a second monitor like me? This window is not as useful to you unless you're closing the game and you just want to like look at the graph and see where the temperature spiked. That is where the OSD comes in. OSD stands for on-screen display, and it is a transparent overlay um, that you can run on top of your game. And it shows you things like your FPS, temperatures, clock speeds, and whatnot. So I'm gonna open my game here. To turn on the, over, uh, the OSD, you just click this little OSD switch there. And then to customize the OSD, you click this OSD button. So let's open up our game. Boom, here we are. And I'm going to, so it's gonna, right now I have it in the top left corner here. So I'm gonna switch up there and Bring my GPU tweak window up here just so you can kind of see what's going on. So 
if I, um, you know, move around in Overwatch, you'll see some of this stuff fluctuate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But this is what the the OSD looks like, um, kind of by default, right? Um, so you've toggled it on. You want to customize it. You click this OSD button, and you can customize all kinds of stuff. So the watermark, um, you could put a watermark above the data. That's not something a lot of people are going to do. Probably what most people are going to spend their time on here is this monitoring data category. Um, so I want to see FPS. I, you know, system time, not really important. I don't need to know how long I've been gaming and that I should go to bed. That's, I already know that information. Um, CPU usage, you know, CPU usage, I, I don't really care about that as much. GPU usage tells me everything I need to know about the usage of my system. Uh, yeah, so we can save that and you'll see it. You should see it update kind of in almost real time here. I might have to enter that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So, yeah, you can see how that works. You can make it a little bit smaller, make it a little bit bigger. What else is cool about this is that if you want even more information than what's available here, you can click this plug-in button and you can actually import data from HW Monitor, which is uh, a separate monitoring program. You don't have to install it separately though. The information is actually built into GPU Tweak. You just have to enable it through this monitoring section. So you can see all of these kind of different, the voltage rails, the different temperature sensors, uh, different fans for like the whole system, right? SSD temperatures, anything you wanna see. You can check to show it in that monitor window we showed earlier, or you can check to show it in the OSD. And then you just have to turn the plugin on. So that's a cool uh, new feature that we added recently that gives this OSD a lot more power. So if you scroll down this window here, you can see a few other options. So I can change the font colors of the OSD. I'm not really gonna do that now because I think the default ones are fine. Uh, you can enable some text, of text effects to change the background if you wanna make it more or less transparent, things like that. Um, this is handy for me. I'm actually on an ultra wide monitor. So when I'm streaming, like I am now, um, sometimes it's, I don't, if I'm streaming in 16 by nine, you can't always see the OSD. So if I want to show it, I'll have to like drag it over like this. And sometimes it takes a minute, but if I drag it around, yep, you'll see it move around the screen. So there we go. So I, it's because I'm playing this in windowed mode, I can pop it up here, but I can also pop it to the other side. I could pop it to the middle if I'm a masochist. I don't know, that'd be a weird thing to do, but you could do it if you wanted to. So that is also uh, handy if you know your game has some UI elements in that default corner and you wanna move it somewhere else. So that's the OSD. I'm gonna minimize this game. There's one other really cool thing you can do here. Let me pop back to where I'm supposed to be here. One other really cool thing you can do. Let's say that you don't even want that OSD on top of your game. You want maximum immersion, right? I don't want more stuff on screen. I want fewer UI elements on screen. Mm -hmm. I want to feel like I am Kratos. So one more way that you can monitor. Um, we have a new feature called the mobile monitor. So if you go back to this monitor tab and you click mobile view, Shoot, I meant to do this earlier. Let me see if I can pull it up right now. I'm going to do it live, guys. We'll do it live. Super easy. Got the QR code right there. Yep. That was, did you, did you do that in an Arnold voice? That was, that's new. Does this scan? Uh, Y'all, get to the chopper now. <laughs> so I just scanned that QR code with my RG phone immediately. As long as you are on the same network with your phone as your computer, it'll pull up a local IP address. So yeah, it's just like a 192.168.whatever. And it shows you your monitor. You can expand these items. You can see the graphs and all of that stuff. Oh, very nice. Just like you do on, uh, on the monitor window. So then you can just prop this up next to your monitor, right? And you could view it that way without anything cluttering up your screen. Or you can get and some actually, kind of mount that hangs below your monitor and holds your phone. Well, some of our new monitors have that already. Oh my. Is that what I you were saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You remembered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. some of the new ROG Strix monitors, we did an episode about them a couple weeks ago. We got some new ROG Strix monitors that are pretty cool and have actually a little phone stand on the bottom. This would be perfect It's in the that. base, And in yeah. fact, one of those monitors is on sale right now. We'll talk about that oh. later in the show, if you're watching live. People who watch YouTube afterwards don't always get the full show. Guys, subscribe, watch us live. There's more show than what you usually get in these videos. You're missing secret shenanigans and giveaways. I know. That's true. That's true. One last thing you can do to customize the GPU Tweak 3 interface that I wanted to show off. The actual colors and stuff of the interface. 
Um, so, you know, I like the red and orange layout. Jake, I know you're a fan of the like electro punk theme. Retro so, you know, wave. You can click this. Retro wave. Yeah, I always forget what you call it. And I'm going to I'm going to butcher this because I don't have the exact colors that I was using before. Right. But here's like a, a pink. Here's a, you know, like a like a light bluish color. Um, and then I actually have a wallpaper designed to go with this color scheme, an ROG wallpaper that I can make my background yeah. of GPU tweak. Maybe raise the transparency a little bit. Let's oh. See. oh, 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 that's a little more purple than I think I was looking for. It's a little but intense, but idea. I like it. Yeah, you'd you'd fine tune it a little bit. That's I, I I originally in the article that I wrote on this that you'll find in the link to the video description. Um, I had it a little bit more pink. You kind of got to dial it in. Uh, yeah. But yes, yeah, so you can like you can and I can reset it to default. But you could put any kind of background wallpaper uh, on there, tweak the colors to fit the colors that you're using on your Aura Sync system, so everything is super um, you know synced up. Really cool thing you can do with it. In addition to customizing what this is actually showing the actual information you're seeing so that's i just wanted to give kind of a quick overview of some of the new customization features we've added guys we have written guides to all of this stuff how to overclock how to undervolt how to use the osd how to customize the colors and all of that stuff written guides for everything in the link uh sorry in the video description of this video as well as our overclocking and undervolting video guide that we did uh, a couple weeks ago so you can go back and find that on our channel as well mm -hmm. like i said this is just part of our show uh if you want to see the full stream with even more content subscribe to our youtube and twitch channels we stream this show rog pulse every thursday we do walkthroughs we do guides we do unboxings we do product announcements we do game streams on twitch we're going to be doing some game streams on youtube starting this week next potentially week. tuesday next week that's the guys goal. i'll say something else too come watch rg pulse next week i'm not going to tell you what's happening but you're gonna want to see it come, subscribe right now i'm not even joking this is not like a subscribe come next week you're gonna be glad that you did that's all i'm saying see you next time